Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, I'll be showcasing how to fully utilize the Agency this week in Grand Theft Auto Online. The Agency is by far one of the most effective businesses, not only for having passive income for life, but as well just making pretty solid money. Whether you're doing the Dr. Dre VIP contract, which pays an absolutely boatload of $1 million, or this week, security contracts are going to pay double. So as we can see, all of these contracts are going to pay over $100,000. The only one that isn't is paying $70,000. Super, super easy. So for example, let's do rescue operation. This is going to pay us $103,000. And the great thing about completing these security contracts is if you have not already completed 200 in your agency, you're going to actually be making more and more passive income each time you complete. I think it's every five you get $500 or something like that. So as you can see, my wall safe currently has $250,000. And this money you can collect whenever you want. It's absolutely passive income. And literally, the more security contracts you complete, the more passive income you're going to make until it's about $20,000 every 48 minutes. So about $25,000 an hour. Not too bad. So we're going to pull out our agency Super Voltio. It's a free helicopter. I should also point out that this week the agency is 40 percent off not only on all upgrades but any agency you want as well so if you don't own an agency i would highly suggest to get one first of all it's only going to be about 1.5 ish million dollars for one of the cheaper ones and doing one run through of the dr dre is already going to pay you that much just with the bonuses so we're going to make our way all the way over to ratten canyon and let's complete this rescue operation all right, and here we are at Ratten Canyon. Now, rescue operation is one of the easiest of all the missions to do. Literally, you just find where a bunch of people are shooting at each other, kill all the bad guys, and collect your clients. So you gotta listen for the gunshots or look for the flares, which is pretty easy. We can see the flares right here. We just gotta listen for the gunshots, which appear to be right down here, I think. I'm listening. I'm not seeing anything yet. I think it's like right down here. I think this is where they're at. Yes, there we are. Okay, so now we're just going to land our helicopter right next to the water while obviously not sinking it. This should be... Never mind. That's... That's... Well, that's not good. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to land it in the water without sinking it. Well, uh, I can't really say I did that all too well, but this is pretty easy. Let's just pull out a combat MG. We're going to kill all these attackers really quick. Then we're just going to get out our sparrow and uh, pick up our bodyguard. So there you go. Dead. You can see this mission's like really easy. The guys you have to kill really don't do much. They're kind of useless. So now we're just going to go to services. Kosatka. We're going to get our sparrow out, which is going to spawn right here. The best thing about the sparrow is that it literally spawns wherever you are instantly. So... Pretty dang easy to use. Now we just gotta go over to the client and we're gonna complete this mission. Sir, get in! Get in the helicopter! Yes, okay, let's make it back to the safe house. Alright, we've made it over to the safe house. Let's just slow down our sparrow and we gotta land it right over here. Usually for a helicopter, I land like right in this area. It's pretty easy to just get out with the client and then uh, jump down here and deliver them. Oh my god. There is no way this game... How? How did he die? How are you dead? How did he die? D oh my god. Let me guess. He got out of the helicopter, jumped up here, and then somehow managed to clip his head on the blades. <laughs> I'm so angry. Well... What I was going to say is, once you complete this, which we would have made $103,000 for completion, set your spawn location to the agency. Because what you can do is you can go to online, find a new session, and press invite only. Now, loading into a new session, as long as it's an invite only session, literally takes about 10 to 15 seconds. You can already see we're swooping back in. And there you have it. We are inside of our agency. This is really, really good for fast traveling because it's kind of just like job warping, but... It's even better, because now you just go inside of an interior of a building instantly. So now we just run downstairs, go into the room, and we can start up another job. It's still really unfortunate that we didn't get that $100,000, but you can see just how dang easy these contracts are to complete. Then we log back in, let's go to security contracts, and you do have to wait a slight cooldown period, but if you fail like me, then you don't have to wait a cooldown period at all. 
Isn't that so fun? Here I go! Speed is key! Okay, we're good, we're good. Usually there's guards over at this area, but it looks like the majority of fighting is over here. But this is actually completely fine, because we're just gonna land right on top of a train car, and then fall off of it. Well, I kinda wanted to land on the train car. I hear the shooting, it's like, right here. Where, where are these guys? Hello? Is, oh, there they are. Nah. Oh, wait, these are good guys. Okay, okay. Let's try this again, but this time, uh, not accidentally kill our clients. So let's get this guy, there you go. This guy, this guy, that guy, that guy. We got two more. He's dead and bonk. Okay. Once again, we go back to services, Kosatka Sparrow, and we're gonna run over towards our Sparrow. While we're running, we can just grab out an explosive shotgun if they come near us, but you shouldn't have to worry. This isn't, like, a hard mission where the guards are actually gonna, like, have a chance of killing you. You just get in your helicopter, your slow client's gonna follow you. Alright, let's see if we can not kill our client this time. Let's bring our helicopter over to the landing spot, and I will give my client an even bigger helping hand. We're gonna land it like this, and hopefully he doesn't die this time. Come on. There you go. Alright, now we just have to run down here. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die, and done. Just like that, we were able to complete a mission. And there you go, $103,000. Just like that. I mean, that's an absolutely crazy amount of money. Now, usually what I like to do on cooldown for this mission is just call up Franklin and do a payphone hit. It's really, really fast to do this, and it saves a lot of time of going back and forth. Once you've done the payphone hit, once again, load into a new session, spawn inside of your agency, rinse and repeat. If you wanted to do the best missions, I would say... Let's start off with the good. First of all, we have vehicle recovery. For the most part, vehicle recovery is quite easy. You're gonna steal a vehicle out of a garage or something like that, deliver it to the safe house. It's pretty easy. The only time vehicle recovery becomes painful is when you have to go to Humane Labs. If you get that one, just load into a new session, skip it, and do another job, because it's a pain to do, it's a waste of time. But apart from the Humane Labs one, vehicle recovery is actually pretty dang easy and fast. Gang termination is another very easy and fast one. Just pull out your sparrow, nuke a bunch of people with your missiles, and you should complete the mission within like three or four minutes. Really easy. Rescue operation is still my favorite. You literally just gotta kill a bunch of people, pick up the client, deliver them. Super easy, super fast. So that one's my favorite. Another very big favorited one is uh, valuable recovery. That one's pretty easy to do. You're just gonna get somebody's valuables and bring them back to the safe house. So, those are the good ones. Bad ones, we have liquidized asset. That one's pretty dang poor, if you want my opinion, because you have to tail somebody for like a good two minutes, and then you have to go inside a building, and then plant a bunch of charges, and then leave. It's kind of painful, it's kind of boring, so I wouldn't suggest to do liquidized assets. And the other one that's really, really boring is asset protection. You have to essentially just guard a bunch of assets while uh, people are going to try and blow them up. It takes like 10 minutes, it's an absolute waste of time. Don't do it. As you can see, I've made over $16.3 million with my agency. Some of that's passive, some of that is through security contracts, and a lot of it, to be honest, is through VIP contracts. But still, it is a crazy good business. It's 40% off this week. Make sure you get your hands on the agency because you will regret it. Doing just security contracts alone, paired with the occasional payphone hit, should net you about $1.2 million every hour. That's a lot of money, especially when you realize I've not added in any passive methods. So if we add on your special cargo from Lupe, and we add on your acid lab, and your bunker, and your nightclub, you can very easily be making upwards of $1.6 to $1.8 million. That's actually a crap ton of money, especially because this is all pure income. It's not like when doing a sale mission you have to worry about your stuff being blown up. When it comes to security contracts, you can do them in a public lobby, you can do them in an invite only. There's no such thing as a high demand bonus, making this just an absolutely amazing business. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.